Rui Lopez opening, Berlin defense, 4.d3 bc5. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The Rui Lopez opening develops the bishop to immediately attack the knight on c6, the lone defender of the e5 pawn. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. d3 protects the e4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. bc5 develops the bishop, attacks the f2 pawn and prepares castling. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. It is the final book action. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. The opposing bishop gets kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. It is ideal. The bishop is now on a square that is more secure. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. This passes up a chance to seize a helpless pawn. It is incorrect. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. This poses a checkmate threat. It is ideal. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is good. This misses a chance to center a knight so that it can dominate more squares. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. The knight becomes more active as a result, gaining control over more of the board. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This shifts the bishop to a square with more activity, giving it greater scope. This poses a threat to strike a knight. It is ideal. This threatens to take an outpost with a knight. This prevents the opponent from being able to kick a knight. It is best. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. This poses a fork piece threat. It is ideal. The knight now occupies an outpost a secure square in the opponent's territory. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This protects a bishop who was being attacked and lacked defense. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. This develops a rook off its starting square, getting it into the action. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. This may succeed in winning a bishop. It is ideal. This connects the rooks, which helps them coordinate together in the future. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a bishop. It is best. This is the only good move. This threatens to fork pieces. It is a great move. This provides a free pawn. It is incorrect. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. 
Now that the rook is on an open file, it is easier to control squares all over the board. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is ideal. This misses a chance to threaten a queen and gain tempo. It is incorrect. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. This forces doubled pawns in front of the opponent's king, decreasing its safety and harming the pawn structure. It is excellent. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. It's alright. That's good. This enables the adversary to threaten with a bishop and win a tempo. It is incorrect. A wise decision. It is quite good. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Backs off. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is ideal. Among the best actions. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. So, the attacked pawn is protected. It is quite good. This strikes a rival rook. It is quite good. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is quite good. This turns the pawn into a passed pawn, which means no other pawn may oppose it as it advances. It is quite good. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. A wise decision. It is quite good. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. This puts the rook behind an opposing passed pawn, which helps counter the pawn's push to promotion. It is best. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.